Hi, it's me again and I'm here to solve a question coming from the 2022 addition of mathematics for the internal kind of candidates coming from uh, the examinations council of Zambia. As I will be solving, feel free to ask any question in the comment section and at the end comment on the button so that I can be making more interesting videos for you by using interesting techniques. We now start by reading the question. So let's let's try let's try to check the paper. So here is the paper. The here is uh, where the question is coming from. So this is question we are going to start with question one and it reads the point a which is 5 comma 3 and b 1 comma negative 2 lie on a straight line find the equation of the line passing through the origin and the midpoint of the line a b we now go back to the solving so before attempting to, before attempting such questions you need to have a sketch on, you need to have a sketch of the question. So by so in this video, we are just going to start by drawing a sketch. So here is the y axis and the x axis. And then we are going to fill, we are going to plot. So here we are going to start with the point A. And then, so the 5 is on the x axis and the y is 3. The y axis is 3. Now we plot. So the point is here. And then we go to the point B now. Point B, the x axis is 1 and the y axis is negative 2. So the point is here, point B. And then we now draw a, a straight line to join the two points. And then we get to the question now. They have said they have mentioned the way the origin. The origin means that the line passes passes through the line uh, passes through the point zero comma zero. So it means zero on the x axis and zero on the y axis. And then the other statement is that they have mentioned the weight midpoint of the line AB. So midpoint means that the line is uh, is at the center of uh, the line. The point is at the center of uh, the line AB, and the point is somewhere there. So when we get the statement, the statement we should follow is that the line should pass the should pass through the origin of 0 comma 0 and the midpoint of a b so there is a line of and then now we are going to apply the formula over the midpoint the formula for midpoint is midpoint is equal to x2 plus x1 divided by 2 comma y2 plus y1 over 2 close brackets and then we're going to start replacing so here x2 we you can get any value 
as long as it is for the x and then we are going to so first let's start with let's choose phi phi is plus 1 divided by 2 and then y we're going to get 3 and negative 2 so 3 plus negative 2 divided by 2 and then we are going to do the, uh, the calculations here is 6 divided by 2 and then there is uh, 1 divided by 2 and to make it easier in simplified form it will be 3 comma 1 over 2 so that's the point that's the midpoint of A and B that's the point it's 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 divided by 2 or 3 and a half and then we're going to join the two we're going to use the equation we're going to make the equation using the two points which is for the origin and the midpoint of a b so here it is three comma negative uh, three comma one over two and then we're going to use the formula m has two formulas which is this is the line of the straight line which is m is equal to y minus m over x minus m. This is for the this this one is for the straight line, the formula for the straight line. You can use that other one, but we like using this one. And then we are going to use this one to find the gradient. Gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so now in finding the gradient we get the values according to the to the formula used so y2 you can start with any between 0 comma 0 or so the way it is you can start with 1 over 2 or you can start with zero but remember what you start with should be what you see, what you also start with with uh, the x so for example when you choose one divided by two as y2 meaning that x2 will also be three okay let's start solving this and then m is equal to y2 so me, I chose to choose 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 minus 0 over 3 minus 0. So it would have been the same even if you say 0 minus 1 over 2. Or 0, uh, zero minus 1 over 2 divided by 0 minus 3. It would have given you the same answer. So now let's do some calculations. 1 divided by 2, 1 over 2, a half divided by 3. It will be, remember when you when you are dividing the part on the right hand side, swap. So for example, in this case, 3 has become has come on the down part and then the one has the one has gone up and then the sign changes to multiplication and then m will be one over six so the gradient is one over six and then we get back to the formula which says one uh, which says m is equal to y minus step over x minus step you can even use that other formula when make uh, you can you can also use that other formula for finding the formula uh, for finding the the equation of the straight line. So here we start with this. M is equal to one over six. So 
So we found f and then y minus z. So here, the way we use this formula, you get any any values where x So the way we use this formula is that you get any value where the line passes. So the line has the equation. When finding the equation, you get I got the ones for the midpoint. So y is negative 1 over 2. And then x is 3. And then we are going to do this one. You find the multiplicative inverse or you do a cross multiplication. So it will be 6 multiplied by y minus 1 over 2, which will also, which is uh, equal to 1 multiplied by x minus 3. And then you're going to do some calculations. Uh, 6 multiplied by 1, it will be 6y. And then 6 multiplied, multiplied by how? It will be, let's write it. And then you say 1 multiplied by x is equal to x. 1 multiplied by negative 3, it will be equal to 3. And then you start doing some calculations. So the k is 6y. And then here 3 is equal to x minus 3, 6y minus 6y is equal to, so let's try getting, grouping the like terms. So it will be 6y is equal to x minus 3 plus 3. And then we do some calculations here. It will be 6y. Is equal to 3 negative 3 uh, is equal to x negative 3 plus uh, 3 is equal to 0 so we are going you just uh, won't write anything so therefore the equation of the line required is 6y is equal to x. So that's how you find such questions.